In this fast modern world, with the saturated use of integrated wireless communications, electromagnetic interference poses a very serious threat to the ultra-sensitive electronic equipment on which we are becoming more and more dependent. Electronically controlled devices are easily disturbed by EM emissions. The effects range from being simply inconvenient to life-threatening. In 1826, the physicist Michael Faraday conceived and built an apparatus designed to prevent the passage of EM waves. Known since as the Faraday cage, it serves as an EM wave blocker, either containing the waves within or excluding them from the interior space of the cage. Comtest Engineering, based near Leiden in Holland, designs, manufactures and installs electromagnetic shielding for a multitude of applications. These cover the medical, commercial and defence sectors. Test services and a full range of accessories related to the shielding products are part of the comprehensive Comtest service. A dedicated team is constantly developing new products and applications. Established in 1985 and with a long and impressive client list in every sector, Comtest recently won the contract for a turnkey project awarded by the European Space Agency. This project was to develop and install a large electromagnetic chamber at the agency's test facility, ESTEC, in the Netherlands. The project was envisaged as a complementary facility to the already existing hydraulic shaker, acoustic test chamber and space simulator. The project was built within an existing building, but required an independent steel support construction. The actual parameters of the shielded room were 17 meters by 12, with a height of 12.5 meters. The challenges we encountered during the design and construction of this facility were of course related to the extremely rigid requirements for space utilization. In particular, issues dealing with shielding, attenuation and cleanliness were of paramount importance, not to mention the extreme dimensions and bulk of the large door, its design, construction and fitting gave us some very interesting moments indeed. The clear opening of the large door is 11 meters high and 6 meters wide. A flush bridge was installed between the satellite integration room and the test chamber to facilitate easy access using an air cushion vehicle. With absorbers fixed to the inside of the door, the door was required to move out one meter before sliding sideways. The same technology for closing and shielding was used on both the large and small doors. Comtest designed the PLC control positioning systems for both.
The combination of personnel sliding and swing doors provides optimum working space and operator convenience. The unique factor of these doors is that they open and close in parallel using a four-point latching system. A fire detection system was designed and installed by Comtest and coupled to a gas fire extinguishing system. In the center of the ceiling, a 10-ton hoisting point was installed, together with an array of 100 kilogram hoisting points. Also placed here are 12 of the most modern, highly efficient, low temperature lights. To aid test monitoring, an advanced multi-camera video system was placed strategically in the ceiling, eliminating the usual floor-based systems. In addition, an EGSE, or ground support equipment room, and an operator control room were installed. These rooms are finished to laboratory standards. Innovative engineering puts Contest among the leading suppliers with projects all over the world. This huge ESA project best illustrates the overall capabilities of Comtest. Capabilities which range from the small to medium contracts for government, medical and the electronics industry, to the very demanding needs of the automobile and space industries. Comtest Engineering, more than happy to explore new challenges, both big and small. <laughs>